Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Fayette and Bridgeville Libraries again. And I'm here today to tell you about a great story and some fun activities to do. So first, I went on the computer to a place called Storyline Online. They have lots of actors reading different stories that the authors gave their permission for. The one that I found that I liked the best is called Snapsy the Alligator. Did not ask to be in this book. It's written by Julie Falatko and it's read by an actor named David Harbour. So whenever you go to Storyline Online, you're gonna find this picture of Snapsy the Alligator. He's got a tie on and he's holding a book. And you click on it and you'll come up with this. I had to make sure that the mode was on YouTube. So go ahead and do that and listen to the great story about Snapsy the alligator. When you're done, come on back and we're gonna make our own Snapsy puppet and his house. So let me show you what I did. I made three different Snapsies. I made some alligators. Here's my favorite one I made out of a paper bag. All I did was use some white paper to make his teeth. Um, I used a pen for his nose, his nostrils, and two big Google eyes for his eyes. I used another paper bag for his hands and I made him a tie. So that's one way you can make the alligator. Because you want to act out the story. Then I got a sock, an old sock that didn't have a match. And I made a different Snapsy. Again, I used printer paper teeth and I just used a glue stick to glue them on and I made eyeballs out of paper and a tie. And I also have his little tail here. He's cute too, but I really liked my paper bag one. And then I tried something that I did a long time ago. I finished my eggs, so I cut my egg carton and I cut it in so that there were two of the little places for the eggs to go. And I got another sock. This one was gray. And I had to cut off the toe part. And I put it around one of the egg holders in the carton. And I got my eyeballs out again and my printer paper and I made this tie. And you could make them talk this way. Kind of have to help them a little bit with your other hand. So that is the third alligator I made. But my favorite one was my paper bag one. So I think I'm gonna use him. So you wanna make your characters for the story. Don't forget, he went to his house in the story. So we got a big shoe box. And my shoe box is great because it opens. This is gonna be my puppet theater. Now in the story, Snapsy ends up having a party for all the his other animals in the neighborhood to show that he's not gonna eat them up. So I just used some streamers. And I put balloons, his chair, his little table, and I did cut the back so that I can end up getting my puppets back there. Well, of course he had some more people come to his party. So I made a snake out of a straw. All I did was turn it up and I glued some paper eyeballs on it. You could even make a bunny rabbit. All I did was go into my rag box and I found a colored rag. I have a rag box for when I wash my car, when I'm cleaning the chairs outside. So I got a white one to be the filling and I just put it in there and wrapped my colored one around it. I used a ribbon to tie it. Then I put the rest of my inside rag in there and I wrapped it up again. So I ended up with a little bunny. And I put a pom-pom on just with some regular liquid glue. A pom-pom for his nose. I used a marker for his mouth and whiskers and some Google eyes. And now he can come to the party too. So you can have a great time 
reenacting the story or you can make your own story. Remember that Snapsy likes to eat things that begin with the letter P. So I made some um, P foods on a paper to be his serving plate. Pizza, pear, popcorn, pretzel. They all begin with the P sound. This is called alliteration, when things all have the same beginning sound. Maybe you're gonna make a different menu for the party. I decided to make an A menu. So I made the capital and lowercase a, and I made apple, avocado, almonds, and asparagus. More alliteration with all A words. Then I thought the bunny rabbit might like some B words, B bunny and B words, beans, banana, bread. So you can even do that. So you can make up more characters that come, your own stories. Remember, they have to have a first, a next, and a last, a beginning, a middle, and an end. So it's great to make up new stories about characters that you see in books. So have a great time doing that. And please send me your pictures of your characters and your theater to sites, S-E-I-T-Z-N, or Nicole, at einetwork.net. I can't wait to see them, and maybe we'll put them on the library website. I hope you enjoy Snapsy the Alligator. Did not ask to be in this book from Storyline Online. Have a great time. Bye-bye.